in this video, we're going to take a look at the great blood vessels that are entering and exiting the heart. But before we do that, we'll briefly talk about the pericardium. The outermost layer of the pericardium is the fibrous pericardium. If we reflect it, we have a serous membrane. So this layer here is the parietal layer of the serous pericardium, and then the visceral layer of the serous pericardium is on the heart. It is also called the epicardium. So these are the veins that drain blood from above the diaphragm into the heart. And to give you an idea of where these are, here we have a neck, and this is the head here. On the right side, we have the right internal jugular vein, which is draining the internal structures of the head, merges with the right subclavian vein to form the right brachiocephalic vein. We have a similar thing on the left side, where we have the left internal jugular vein merging with the left subclavian to form the left brachiocephalic vein. The left brachiocephalic vein and the right brachiocephalic vein merge to form the superior vena cava, which drains into the right atrium. Now we're going to take a look at the arteries. So now we've moved the veins out of the way, we can see the arteries that are leaving the heart. The main artery here is the aorta, which has the arch of the aorta that we can see right here. There are three vessels which branch off the arch of the aorta. The first one here is the brachiocephalic trunk. The second one is the left common carotid. And the third is the left subclavian. The brachiocephalic trunk then divides into the right subclavian and the right common carotid. The two common carotids then branch to form the internal and the external carotid arteries. The left subclavian travels along, and to give you an idea of where it is going, It travels across the torso. When it passes the lateral border of the first rib, it then becomes the axillary artery. It goes through the axillary region and then becomes the brachial artery. And then it splits into the radial artery and the ulna artery. This is the posterior view of the heart, and we can highlight some of the other vessels that are entering and exiting the heart. This large vein here is the inferior vena cava, and this is draining blood from below the diaphragm. We have two branches from the pulmonary trunk. We have this branch here, which is the right pulmonary artery. And then on this side here, we can see the left pulmonary artery. And these are carrying deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle to the lungs. Oxygenated blood is returning from the lungs back to the heart via the pulmonary veins. And we can see two pulmonary veins here. And then on this side, we can only see one pulmonary vein here. It's got me under pressure. 